make smart decisions with AI. So how can AI help you to make smart decisions in your sales marketing, in your supply chain, but also in your demand planning? And what are the main challenges, but also how to overcome them? Martin Sutton, he's the Customer Development Director at Peak, and he's here to share his experience on decision intelligence. Welcome, Martin. Hey, thanks for having us. Great to uh, great to see you, Ron. Yeah, AI is used in many disciplines, basically every discipline where we use data nowadays. And you can apply AI in domains like sales marketing, supply chain, and also demand planning. Can you explain how it is used in these domains to drive your business growth? To answer your kind of specific question on, on all those sort of three disciplines of sort of sales and marketing, demand planning teams, sometimes merchandisers uh, and also supply chain teams, the, the key for us is being able to enable those businesses to make smarter decisions right across the value chain. So, for example, um, the sort of businesses we engage with, so very large sort of multinational retail CPG manufacturers, want to be able to understand the decision impact of, of a consumer and, and what that consumer might do and the impact it may have all the way through to their, their supply chain. So in, in traditional ways of working, um, people are trying to make sort of like isolated decisions on like how to optimize for marketing, how to optimize our demand planning merchandising teams and how to optimize our supply chain team to drive like the greatest efficiency. So just imagine a world where you can actually connect those three teams together with a common intelligence engine so that you know that when your marketing team market that your your favorite product to your favorite customer, the impact it's going to have on your merchandisers and also your supply chain team. And that's what we're doing at Peak, sort of connecting those disparate teams up using something we call decision intelligence. Yeah, you were talking about these challenges, multiple different data points and data silos, and making decisions in the supply chain, for example, can be challenging because of this. So what are the main challenges that you see in the market when deploying AI and machine learning? Yeah, so, so, the, so the biggest challenges are typically for us not around the technology. It's, it's more that people don't actually know where to start. So, you know, it's fair to say most businesses have like too much data. They have like, like gallons of data if you're going to quantify it into a liquid. Um, and, and they're kind of sat there saying, how do I get the best out of what we've got here? And how do we use AI and machine learning and other techniques to drive better decisions through our business? Um, and, and because of that, you know, AI can sometimes be seen as, as a non-inclusive sport that like there's a lot of cool stuff going on in small bit, in small sort of like pockets, but everybody wants to join the party and they're kind of sat there scratching their head, wondering where to start. And that's where Peak and AWS come in. Um, we've worked together to define a really clear um, methodology to help businesses do ideation, uh, bring their data onto our technology platform hosted on AWS, and then start to test and iterate. And then most importantly of all, to, you know, back the winning sort of projects and ideas and, and push them through to um, to productionization. So they're actually actioning things that the businesses really care about that make a difference rather than it just being a science project. A clear overview of the challenges, but on the other hand, of course, um, can you give and share some examples, some practical examples of successful applications? Yeah, sure. In, in, in many. So I think we, we've been around just to like give some context. We, we've been around for, for seven years and have worked on hundreds of, of sort of AI projects um, and a couple that I will just sort of like pull out, pull out of the air. Um, so we work with one of the world's largest and most famous um, CPG uh, drinks brands. And um, we, we've basically enabled them to optimize the way the, the sort of uh, logistics network works. So Every day, every sort of hour of that day, this, this particular organization is trying to figure out when they manufacture goods, it comes off the manufacturing plant, which pallets do those goods go on, which sort of pallets go on to which trucks, which trucks go to which distribution centers, and then which sort of goods from the distribution center then go out to their wholesalers. And what we've done using the, uh, the Peak platform on AWS is we send them a multitude of predictions each day that informs them how to sort of make those decisions. The net result is really cool. Um, it's it's managed to reduce un, unwanted, unnecessary uh, journeys in the in the network by two hundred thousand kilometers. Um, it's managed to reduce one hundred and forty seven tons of CO two, and it's had quite a considerable saving to their third party logistics costs. So that's kind of one example in a in a very complex global CPG who is sat on a mountain of data with a very complex supply chain, sort of saying, "How can you help me?" Yeah, great cases. And luckily, we can hear more of these type of great cases. You will be speaking at AWS reInvent. Can you share some of the highlights with us, what you're going to discuss over there? 
Yeah, sure. We're super excited to be at reInvent this year. Uh, we've been a number of times because we've been a we've been a big AWS partner since day one when we set up the business seven years ago. We're 100 all in on AWS. We consume over 58 um, superb services from AWS that underpin our platform. So we're going along to look at what's the latest and greatest announcements from AWS because we want to understand which new ML services or other services could be relevant for us and our customers. So that's kind of like a primary objective. Um, the secondary objective will be to go and spend more time with the Marketplace team. Uh, we've recently launched our 10 solutions on Marketplace this year, and we're seeing some great traction. We see Marketplace as being a, a key component to, to sort of peak scale going forward globally. So we want to understand more in the Marketplace space. Uh, and thirdly, we're going to make a big announcement of our own, really. Um, we're going to launch our, our platform only variant of our of our offering at Peak. So just to explain what that means, in, in the seven years we've been working with AWS, we've been building solutions on the Peak platform for our customers. We've also been co-building solutions with our customers on our platform. Uh, and come Q1, we're going to announce that um, there will be a platform only variant for our customers to build their own ML models, uh, unify data, and do some really cool things on their own. So that's the big news, and that's why we're looking forward to uh, to being at reInvent this year. Yeah, this is something that you definitely don't want to miss. Join Martin and I at AWS reInvent and just register yourself right now. Thank you, Martin. Great insights, great cases, how AI can support decision-making. And for the audience, thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time.